I've got your answers. All right, so today we're gonna hook up a DSU panel with a voice dialer and relay. And um, I'm gonna show you the basic steps to do that and then we'll talk about some programming on this. So what this relay does is this relay will actually, um, it'll be provided power from the control panel. And when it does get its power, it will give you a dry contact closure which will in turn trigger this dialer. So we're gonna go ahead and start by hooking up this relay to the control panel. And this will be triggered by the bell circuit on the panel. So in this example, we're using red and black wire, just a simple two conductor connection. So what we'll do is we're gonna come off this, we have a bell plus and a bell minus here. So we're gonna put, I usually use red for positive on everything when dealing in alarm systems. So we'll just tighten that up there. And then we'll put this in here, into the negative, black for negative. Now, on the relay, the relay has a positive and a negative. So we're gonna go ahead and use the red as positive and then the black is negative. So we'll make sure our screw terminals are loose here. And we'll do positive and the positive and negative and the negative. Okay, so with that connection made, <laughs> this relay will come with double foam tape that you can stick onto the back of it so that you can actually just kind of mount it somewhere in the control panel, very simple connection like this, and just keep it, you know, inside the cabinet. So from here, this relay has three more terminals. It has an NO, a COM, and then an NC. The NO means normally open, the NC is normally closed, and the COM is common. So what we're going to do here is this particular dialer that we're going to use today likes to have the, uh, the normally open. It likes to see the closure when it goes into an alarm. So we're going to wire from the normally open and the COM to the inside of this dialer. So we'll just take this dialer apart. All right, so what we'll do here first is we'll, uh, we'll run up a, a wire from the relay. We'll wire to the relay first, and then we'll come into the back of the dialer's case. Let's put our wires in. And here, there's no polarity for the normally open and common, so it doesn't really matter which wire goes where. You could wire it any which way you want, and it will be done like this. So we just wire into the normally open and the calm. And then we're going to tighten down. And that's going to take care of that for the relay. So this part's all done and you can just go ahead and stick this down to the cabinet or whatnot. So now, when we wire up this dialer, you're going to want to make sure that you, this is the back plate this has two soft knockouts on the top and the bottom. So just make sure to either either take one of these knockouts out or if you're gonna um, if you're gonna mount it to the wall, you can actually pierce the side with maybe a quarter inch drill bit to bring your wires in. Once this thing, uh, the dialer gets clipped into this and then the cap goes on it, there's really no ways to put the wires in. So um, in this example, we're just gonna use one of the pre knockouts here and just bring our wires in like this through the bottom. And being as that this came from the relay, we're gonna go ahead and hook this up on the dialer. It's got a series of terminals here. You got earth, which is a ground. You have line, you have set, and then you have your positive and your negative voltage. And then there's some other terminals here, which is Z1, Z2, and then the negative. Now this is where the relay is gonna get hooked up here we're going to use the Z1 terminal in this case because we only want to trigger the first channel. 
So again, it doesn't really matter which way they go as long as they're in, uh, as there's no polarity there. So we'll go ahead and hook those up. Now, this dialer is gonna require 12 volts of power to operate. So what we wanna do is we need to provide it with 12 volts of power, and we can do so right from the control panel itself. The control panel has an auxiliary plus and minus circuit. So we can actually get our power for the dialer from those two uh, terminals there, which are here. Auxiliary plus and auxiliary minus right next to the bell circuit. And this part does matter. So the auxiliary plus is gonna be your positive line. So we'll just loosen these up here on the board. And then we get our positive line. that in there and then we'll have our negative line here make sure we get that all tightened up so now this is going to provide us a consistent 12 volts of DC power again this is a case where you're going to want to bring the wire through the knockouts so we're going to go ahead and use that same one we just used and we're going to go ahead and see if we can fit these two there which I don't think are going to fit well, for argument's sake, we'll just leave it. So what we'll do is um, we're gonna bring our power into the dialer. And uh, once again, here on the dialer, you have the, the 12 volt plus and minus here. So we're gonna go ahead and use our red wire as positive because that's what we used on the other side. 